Hello guys, this is Fort Thunder. Welcome back to yet another Pokemon video. Today we got a Pokemon showdown battle against 18Z winner AJ, which we just were allowed to make our own teams. Uh, make sure it was VGZ doubles format, but other than that, just the battle here, uh, four on fours. So I went for a lot of ice steps there, and that helped me out a lot because that team or those first two were really weak to ice. Uh, so he maxed Inferno there. Even though I got Slush or Sand Slash, somehow I still was outsped with the Tailwind. Uh, so I guess that Cinderace is very, very fast. Luckily, my Blizzard hit, taking out the Flapple. Uh, but then I brought an Arctivish. Um, but Bomb of Snow went down there, fortunately. I did an Icy Wind because I'm like, we can slow this Cinderace down because it's going way too fast. The idea was to protect there and go for an Icy Wind. But it went for Arctivish instead, knocking it out. But now with the Tailwind gone, it, Cinderace was down a lot and one Earthquake was all that was needed. So we're up 1-0 guys. Alright guys, here we go into match number 2. We got a Angel Slash over there and a Comfy. I've got Sand Slash and Arctivish. I take a little bit of a Giga Drain there, but then I return with an Iron Head one tapping that stupid flower. Uh, I also set up some hail here because that boosts my slush rush and my ice body, so a double win there. Cinderace comes in, that thing's so annoying. It, it maxes, of course. I go for drill run, not doing enough damage, but a little bit of damage. Unfortunately, Max Flare one taps the sand slash from that point and removes my hail. So I go for an icy win because I got a lower speed on those guys, they're way too fast. Unfortunately, here comes an iron head and it takes me out. So we send in. Corsola and Blastoise. I'm going to max the Blastoise G Max. In fact, I take a lot of damage from Shadow Snake there, but I'm able to get off my water move and tank a poison move, even though it was a crit. I was able to take that pretty well. Shadow Ball comes in, dealing a lot of damage, and my Vortex knocks out that Aegislash. Now we just gotta take out that Hippowdon. I go for a max water move on that, and it does a lot of damage. We take another poison there. And that didn't do too much. Crunch doing a lot of Corsola, but not finishing it off. So Corsola gets off its Icy Wind, lowering the speed and the health of both Pokemon there. Sandstorm does a little bit there, and Vortex finishes it off. So we're up 2-0, guys, but let's do a third match just for fun. Here we are for match number three. He's got Cinderace and Noiburn. Well, I've got a Bomb of Snow and Sandslash. Both are very weak to fire, but... He switches, removing my hail, I didn't anticipate that, Pyro Ball does a lot, knocking me out, but my Blizzard does hit, and it's a crit, taking out that Hippowdon, I uh, took a little bit of damage of Sandstorm, but we send in the Blastoise, here comes the Noivern, Blastoise, G-Max, let's see what it does, Tailwind, that's not good, we tank the Gunk Shot, and one tap the Cinderace, that's a win, and the Blizzard misses. <laughs> Because you know, it's got to miss at least once here. Uh, here comes Flapple, which is apparently a staller. Uh, as it says, Hurricane thankfully misses. You know, miss a Hurricane, miss, miss a Blizzard. That's fine with me. We take a lot of damage there, but we're able to get off quite a bit of damage. And then the Blizzard finishes it off, guys. So that's a win. Hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, as always, thanks for watching.